I was really having a lot of trouble with life in general because of pain. Uh, I was not able to, you know, even walk upright because of, you know, problems with pain that I had. Uh, even sleeping was difficult, and I had to have uh, medicine all the time. You know, I wouldn't be able to go to sleep, and um, I really wasn't able to do much at all. And it was a problem, and eventually I was realizing that if I don't do something about it, you know, hopefully it was possible. I didn't think that it was, actually, but if there was something that I could do, then I thought I should do it. And so I heard about the PRC program, and, you know, what did I have to lose? You know, maybe it could help. Well, before I did the program, like I said, there really wasn't much that I could do at all. I couldn't even go for walks. Um, and, you know, people would invite me to things. I wasn't able to do much. I uh, just c complained a lot. <laughs> I complained so much that, you know, I think people didn't enjoy uh, being around me that much, and they didn't invite me to things. I was kind of isolated, really. Uh, because I couldn't really participate in many things that people did. Uh, after the program, and, you know, I mean, this may sound hard to believe, but it really changed my life drastically. Uh, I was able to do a lot of things. I still had pain. Um, it was much less pain somehow because of, you know, whatever different therapies and treatments that we had over the course of the program. Um, it was less pain, and I was off medications. I didn't have the side effects. I was able to sleep, you know, without medication. It was pretty amazing. Uh, still with some pain. Um, and now, you know, I mean, it's nine years later. It's It's been some time now. Uh, I've continued to... Uh, follow the routine that has kept me from uh, relapsing back into that situation. And I'm able, you know, so for this period of time, you know, from my, from my life since I was on the program, um, it, it's pretty social. I can do a lot of things. Uh, still quite limited, but nowhere near as limited as before. Uh, I go for walks, you know, I uh, you know, I can pretty much live a normal life. Uh, still don't lift heavy things uh, or do any kind of athletic activities, but, uh, you know, I hang out with people. I, I actually can uh, ride a bicycle, which I do regularly, in fact, uh, something I couldn't have dreamed of before. I thought I'd never be able to do that again. So, uh, you know, it's been much better uh, it's quite different from what I thought I'd be able to do. I thought I wouldn't be able to, you know, live a normal life before. But it's been nice. And I'm really grateful to the program. Before the program, even sleeping was a problem. Uh, you know, pretty much everything was because of limitations of pain, one of the most amazing things about the program, I think, was that it increased my range of motion. And that meant I was able to do a lot of things that I wasn't able to do before. And I had, had actually had physical therapy before, you know, trying to deal with that problem. And it seemed like every time I did physical therapy, it made the problems worse. But on the program, I was really amazed by the staff. You know, the staff had such expertise and such caring, and they really seemed to know, you know, where the limits were and just how much at a time you could sort of push that limit, you know, gently. And I was really amazed that I went through that program being more capable every day of moving, uh, you know, bending, doing a lot of things that, you know, of course, everybody takes for granted that I was not able to do. And so, um, you know, it was a challenge, you know, in the beginning. I was kind of upset 
that I thought I would be expected to do things that I would not be able to do in terms of, you know, twisting and bending and, uh, you know, lifting small weights, uh, extending my range of motion. Uh, also, the fact that I was expected to get off of my medication, you know, I think it was assessed by experts to come to that conclusion. It wasn't, you know, arbitrary or anything that I was at a point where I would no longer, you know, to try to manage without the medication. That was a challenge that really upset me because I didn't think I could. You know, I had not been able to for some time. So during the program, those were challenges, you know, trying to do more exercise, be more active, be more, you know, limber or whatever, uh, things I didn't think I'd be able to do. But I did them, got through it, and then afterwards, uh, it really was important to continue with a routine of stretches and, and other activity that, um, you know, I hadn't been able to before, and I had to fit into my schedule, my daily routine. So I had to fit that in there. Um, and it was kind of difficult, but I was inspired to because I knew that that was, you know, a big part of the reason that I made this transition into being able to do so many more things in life. Uh, had some slight relapses. Um, didn't really take medication again. There have been a couple of times when I thought, you know, maybe I will, maybe... You know, and I did uh, do it a couple of times, but, I mean, over nine-year periods, that, that's a nine-year period. That's not many. Uh, so I've, I have been off the medication, um, but that was a challenge that a couple of times I thought maybe I'd have to. But I kept up my routine. Um, haven't been quite as conscientious lately, uh, but I have kept it up, and I have found the correlation between when... I do uh, follow, um, you know, the recommended stretches and I do regular exercise, you know, then I don't tend to get stiff and, you know, when I do normal things it doesn't hurt uh, as much. And so it's been a challenge to make sure that I keep up what I learned from the program that allows me to live a normal life without a lot of severe chronic pain. And, uh, you know, so I keep it up because it's very important. You know, my life's so much better now uh, because of it. And it's important to meet the challenge uh, of whatever it takes to keep it going. Well, it turns out that I uh, practice transcendental meditation. And, you know, twice a day I meditate. And what I did was just, you know, I mean, it's something I've done for nearly 50 years. What I did was uh, combined what I was doing, you know, with PRC, you know, with that. So I had a period of, you know, going through my stretches and, you know, uh, and I would meditate. And so it was part of the routine, something that I, you know, was scheduled as part of my routine anyway, wants to do something, I just added that to it. And so I was able to do it, you know, without wondering when am I going to do it, you know, at what time am I going to do it. So it turns out that I did have that advantage and it was kind of easy and even um, helpful to kind of structure those things together. So I would meditate, I would do, you know, I mean, something like yoga postures kind of go well with that. And so I did that, and then afterwards, um, you know, I'd go for a walk or something and, you know, kept up some light exercise that kept me in, in decent shape so that uh, things went well. As I was saying, to incorporate the, uh, the stretches, the exercises with my meditation routine, it seems like it just turns out to be a, a healthy routine anyway. So I thought that was helpful to just kind of augment what I was doing anyway with what turns out to be a healthy routine. 
Um, also, I was, uh, you know, now it has been a long time. I don't really remember, you know, everything, especially terminology and such. But whenever I would sort of have, uh, you know, some challenges because of maybe there's something that I had to do that uh, was kind of taxing to the physiology and it would kind of bring back some of the pain. It, by the way, it never came back to the same level by far uh, after the PRC program. But then I'd remember the advice that was given, you know, when you do start to kind of drift into some of the problems that you had before, you know, you know what the advice was, you know, follow that. And so I always did. Um, I came back for the, uh, you know, some of the PRC, you know, after meetings that were uh, optional but available uh, to kind of get a refresher on, on some of the things that were advised. And I found that those were very helpful. And so, uh, you know, I always knew what to do. I uh, was quite conscientious, but, you know, not completely. And so sometimes I just kind of fell by the wayside a little bit, but I always made the adjustment back. When I found that, you know, I'm starting to drift back in, I assume, you know, that it's possible, I'm not sure what the, you know, theory or understanding is, that I could lapse back into that same state. I'm not sure how permanent uh, the effects of the program would be if I didn't continue with the type of activity that was advised, but uh, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs>
and you know what to do when I felt uh, the the urge or you know what I thought was the need and um, you know I did tell you know some of my friends who you know they would always ask but I thought they were just kind of losing interest uh, in me because you know I just kind of didn't fit into their lives anymore but they were also kind of interested and enthusiastic um, about uh, the, the fact that, that I was doing this. And so when I started becoming more active during the program, you know, I had people to take short walks with when I was, you know, newly able to do that. And, and everybody was very supportive. They didn't know anything about it, uh, you know, but they kind of took my word for it. And uh, if this could possibly help, they wanted to help me out. You know, this is uh, an amazing coincidence, but I talked to a woman last night who was visiting, and she was telling me she had chronic pain. She didn't know I had ever had chronic pain, but she was just talking about herself, and I asked her, did you ever hear of the Mayo Clinic PRC program, you know, pain rehabilitation? And she said no, and I just gushed, you know, just telling her all about it. You know, I really did. That just happened just last night, 12 hours ago, you know. <laughs> so, um, you know, it, it was um, something that I think having support helps a lot. Uh, I know some people probably don't. It so happens that I did, you know. My, I have my wife, and I do have friends that, and did at that time too, that I was still close to, but, you know, I didn't spend as much time with them. Uh, so they were kind of drifting away back at that time. But, um, you know, people understand, and I, uh, I still talk about it, you know, just like I said. I actually wondered how broad the scope is of, you know, the types of problems that can be helped. Uh, I don't really know, you know, I don't understand. I know that for me it was ideal. For the pe other people, other participants at the time that I took the program, it seemed to be working for everybody as far as I could tell. Uh, so I do tell people about it because I think that, um, you know, it changed my life and it could probably, um, you know, help. I don't know to what extent it would help others, but it certainly helped me tremendously, absolutely overhaul my life. And I think it could help anybody a lot. And I do tell people about it, you know, even after all this time that, you know, since I took it, it's been some time. But um, I, th I do tell people that, uh, you know, you should look into this, you should try it. Uh, I tell them all of the things that I remember and understand about why it makes a big difference and that the change that it makes uh, is stable, that it continues with you. It's not something that, you know, just works for a short while and, you know, then you have to do it again or, you know, you can't have the benefit uh, over a period of time. So I think that uh, everyone should, everyone who has chronic pain should take this program and I really think that it would definitely help a lot. There's so many different facets to it. It's multi-pronged. It approaches the problem from so many directions that it's hard to imagine it not helping, you know, anybody with a, a pain problem, uh, you know, quite a lot.